cool. I, I love every time I see it. Yours to open, yours to keep. Mm -hmm. I really love it. It's nice. Thanks. Um, you've been on the market already now, and you've got a few generations of product mm -hmm. that you've been developing. You've probably got more in the pipeline, I'm sure. What would you identify as the main challenges you've overcome, and what lessons have you learned? So, what, what have been some of the things that you've yeah challenges? I think like uh, we tend, and also because this this course is about circular design, but. Um, we tend to put a lot of focus on, on the product itself when we have to not forget that uh, Fairphone is also a growing company. So we started as an organization uh, in 2013 uh, only. And really a lot of these lessons learned uh, that I can refer to have more to do with the growth of the company, mm. uh, also with the design of the product, but a lot with the growth. All, a lot of design decisions that may have an influence in how you organize your, uh, your organization. Mm. Um, for instance, one thing that plays a role and it's very important for longevity of, of devices is the availability of uh, components mm. and spare parts. Mm. So uh, a smartphone, we, with Fairphone 2, we, we own the IP of the architecture of the phone. But inside these modules, there's components, right? These components are made by component manufacturers. Mm that may have their own portfolio, their own times, their yeah. own considerations. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the, the, the biggest challenge that we, that we are having to keep our promise on longevity and repairability mm -hmm. is really, uh, let's say, closing good deals mm -hmm. with suppliers that allows us to, to keep that continuity. Mm -hmm. uh, the modularity help us here because uh, when a certain component comes end of life, end of life means, yeah, so, the, that, that manufacturer is not going to produce that component anymore. We are lucky enough with the modularity, maybe we can redesign a little bit a part of the phone. So let's say we want a new camera, like we did. Now this year we launched a, a more powerful camera. So the module is there, right? So you may have to redefine or redesign parts of the module. And I'm sure our CTO, uh, Olivier, will talk much more about this. Mm. Um, and that's something that we could not have done if it was not modular. So in a way, modularity also came into our advantage to mitigate that uh, challenge of availability of yeah. uh, components. Yeah. It's interesting, um, some of the challenges, the business challenges you were talking about, that's refreshingly normal. Yeah. So yeah, in other exactly. words, you know, we've got growth, we've got expansion, we're taking on more staff, we do more things, it gets more complicated. Um, we've got issues with suppliers that we need to make sure are done correctly. That's good because that's yeah. just what happens in, in normal business. So yeah. it just shows that when you make a circular product, you design and man manufacture and sell a circular product, it's not completely different business. It's, it's not business isolated business. from the world, right? Like we, I always say, we, we don't live in a circular economy yet. No. No. We need to design this transition to the circular economy. Yeah. So in the meantime, we need to deal with the current system and yeah. try to find the levers to shape it. But it can be done. And it can, no, no, and it is being done. Is. And, and, and we are showing that definitely. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's inspiration.